Hey guys. Okay, I think I'm live. Sorry that for that awkward, <laughs> awkward science silence. Um, yay! Let me just double check and make sure this is streaming live in the group while you guys hop on and maybe tag a teamy or two. I'm so honored to be able, yay, I think this is working. Okay, good. Um, I'm so honored to be able to hop on to this amazing team. Y'all, Jessica is seriously one of my favorite people in all of mascara. So I was beyond honored when she invited me to come on and talk about one of my favorite topics even before mascara um, and, or Saint, sorry, <laughs> Saint. And that is goal setting. Um, and I'm coming to you with this training actually after achieving two pretty big goals, very big goals. Um, both of which I don't even know if I would have thought were possible for me. And I know sometimes goal setting, the reason we don't do it is because it, it seems like if we don't achieve the things that we want and hope in life that we're going to be disappointed, right? Um, and I know I've been there too, even though I love to set goals. But um, today I'm going to share with you and hopefully a quick-ish training, like maybe 30 minutes. I want to keep it easy to rewatch for you guys because um, I know a lot of you guys are going to be catching the replay, drop hashtag replay. Um, but well, let me introduce myself, first of all. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm Heather and um, I am Jessica's like cousin, maybe in Saint. So um, Sarah Davies is my mascara mama. And then Amanda Ernest is my Yay. mascara or Saint. Oh my gosh, you guys, I still can't, cannot get over the name. Saint grandma. Um, and I just ranked to elite influencer last month, which was just like so exciting and unbelievable. Um, and prior to that, I knocked off a huge and crazy goal, which was um, qualifying for Costa Rica. So um, when I was kind of chatting with Jessica, I realized that the way that I you know, decided to go for and implemented my goal. And it was really big, you guys, of um, qualifying for Costa Rica um, was something that I could break down and apply to any goal that you have, whether that's rank based, whether it's financial based, shoot, it can even be personal based, something in your personal life. Um, and so that's what I'm really excited to share today. So I'm going to share five B's, they all start with a B just to help you remember it all, um, to help you achieve your goals and dreams, no matter what they are. So, okay. Um, so let me just backstory kind of tell you where I was with Costa, just so you know, this wasn't like, cause sometimes you might be like, Oh, well, you're a top leader or you've been doing this long time. Um, I'm sure it was easy for you to qualify you guys. <laughs> it wasn't. In fact, when I started the Costa Rica journey, I pretty much decided I wasn't going to go for it. Um, and I made up all these excuses as to why it was like, oh, you know, I'd rather pour into my team and, you know, it's, that's where my energy is better spent. And, you know, I had all these stories in my mind. Um, and that was even how I showed up for my team as well. Um, but if I'm being really honest, I was just scared because my average sales are like two to 3000, which I'm super proud of. And that is good enough, you know, for me, but guess what? It's definitely not good enough to qualify for a trip like, <laughs> like noir or Costa Rica. I needed to instead sell like 4,500 to 5,000 a month when my previous, like best month ever was like $6,000. Um, and I maybe hit the 4,000, um, 40% bracket, maybe, three or four times a year. Um, so it was going to take a lot of work, a lot of effort. And to be honest, I was scared. So I did not go for it. Um, the entire five and a half months of the six month qualification. Um, and instead I just worked on kind of my systems for my personal business and, you know, really kind of holding on in on things like my color matching form and, um, my, um, again, you know, building up my team and, you know, my group, I reinvigorated my VIP group and things like that, kind of doing the work, but not, laser focused in on the goal, if that makes sense. And it wasn't until my mascara or St. Mama, um, Sarah called me um, maybe maybe a week in to the last month. And she was like, Heather, she's like, you have everything in place to go for this. And I was like 10,000, or wait, no, 8,000 in sales away, something like that. So again, mind you, my best month ever was $6,000. I was going to have to sell $8,000 in that month in order to make it happen, which is like double a really high month. <laughs> it's like triple my normal month. This.
Okay, am I back? <laughs> Y'all, I'm switching up to my um, office area where hopefully I have better internet. Let me just make sure that I am live. And y'all, I'm looking real special today. Okay, yay. <laughs> okay, yay, I'm back. Okay, good. I'm glad it didn't start the whole thing over. And I'm so sorry, y'all. I know I lost some of you there. But um, okay, so, so I think where I left off was um, the first B, which is begin with the end in mind. And I got this little nugget from my very favorite personal development book. Um, well, I have a few favorites and drop your favorite in the comments below because I would love to um, learn yours. But um, this is also Kara's favorite book and it's the seven habits of highly effective people. And one of those habits is begin with the end in mind. And essentially this is for anything in your life. If that's like your marriage, it's like, okay, we're going to be in this thing through thick and thin, right? Um, if that's, you want five kids, you know, that's, that's another example of it, but obviously specific to mascara or saint, um, that probably for you is going to look like a financial goal that you want or need for your family. It's going to look like a rank that's maybe associated with that financial goal. Um, it could look like a trip. It could look, um, like helping a teeny out. There's a lot of different things, but if you don't have something that you're going for, you're not going to hit it. You can't hit a target that you're, that you can't see. Right. So for example, for Costa Rica, if I was just trucking along, doing the work, doing the things and, you know, just doing just fine. I wasn't just like magically going to hit that big goal because guess what? I wasn't doing anything different than what I normally did. And, um, and it was because I was not laser focused on that goal. Same thing, um, with my rank. So you guys actually, so elite influencer is obviously an amazing deal, but it's so funny because it feels like, um, and I'm sure many of you guys have kind of been, been in this, this thing. I'm like, okay, well, I'm ready for the next one. And, uh, Sarah, Sarah Davies, and I know Amanda Ernest too, we have always been laser focused, not on the next rank, um, but on the top rank, which is executive director, right? which can seem so far away. But one of the things that is key with that rank in particular, and if you want to take this thing all the way to the top, even if it takes forever, Amanda used to say she was on the five-year plan. She's like, if I rank once a year, um, I will get there eventually. <laughs> and that's my goal. But to get there, you need five really strong legs, five really strong legs. And I have known that from the beginning. Sarah has shared that from the beginning. And to get five really strong legs, you probably have to have about 50 girls, which is like, I know, really intimidating when you maybe don't have any, or you've got like four, or, you know, maybe you just joined and you're like, how the heck am I supposed to find 50 people to join your team? And trust me, I was there. I told Sarah when I joined that I wasn't interested in building a team because I didn't even have time. And now 22, 80 or something later, later, here we are. And I love every minute. And this is by far my favorite part of the business. But one of the reasons that I am where I am in terms of that team size is because I was laser focused in on what it took to get to that end rank goal, which is executive director. Y'all, I'm really sorry. This lighting is, is horrific. Okay. So on that note, I want to do a little show and tell with you guys. So you'll finally get to, to get rid of my crazy face and share a little preview of some stats that, um, you guys are among the first to see. Now, this is not something like if you screenshot this, please don't share this outside of this. Um, like, don't post this anywhere. Don't talk about this if you like a blog or anything like that, because um, these aren't really numbers that, first of all, this is just like unscientific data from a survey that I did that many of you might have participated in. Um, to gather more information about the specifics of income, team size, um, sales, um, uh, per growth, um, all kinds of fun things um, are on this survey. And there will be way more um, official data coming out um, here in just a little bit. But I wanted to give you guys a preview because this might help you determine what your end game goal is, again, um, in terms of rank or income or, or team size or anything like that. So this, just so you can see, um, is um, by rank, um, the October bonus 2020 and projected annual income of each rank. So for example, I don't know about you, but that executive director is looking pretty dang special. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, what is it? What do I need to do to get there? Um, 
So um, actually, um, okay, well, here, I'll walk through this and then I'll, I'll move on to some of the other bees. Okay, so you'll also see on here the number of directs um, that it takes to get to these ranks. So again, you'll see, uh, you know, an executive director, the app, well, Amanda, there you go, has, um, now Kat is on there, but she was a uh, top influencer when she, when she took this survey, but Amanda has 65 directs. And um, we'll actually, actually, I will move on to that B. The um, second B is become or B. You can write down either of those, B or become. So how many of you guys have ever heard of the have, do, be versus be, do, have? So what that is, and this is such a powerful thing, and I will, I will never forget the first time I heard it. Um, so most people kind of think like, oh, well, I could never be executive director, or be like Amanda, because I don't have uh, 65 directs or I don't have a huge social media following like Kat, which P.S. she did not when she started. Not at all. I used to outsell Kat. I used to outsell Kat with my like, you know, $4,000 or $3,000 um, for a long time, actually. Um, and so it's very easy to think like, you know, I don't have what they have. So they're for I couldn't do what they do or be like them. Right. No. That's the beautiful thing about what Amanda has done and the beautiful thing, even honestly, about what Kat has done, because Kat is a special unicorn, but guess what? That's because she fully embraces every bit of who she is, and she does not hide that. She does not shy away from that, and that people are attracted to. I don't care, you know, because again, not everybody's, like, there are way more people that are like you than there are like Kat, but like Kat is fully Kat and she's like, I'm going to show up and be that. And people love that. And they're drawn to that. And I promise you anybody, look at Camille, look at Camille Clausen, you guys, same freaking thing, like unbelievable. And she's like the opposite end of the, you know, she's not a California Barbie, right? She's like a very real relatable, you know, like human, <laughs> but hilarious, but relatable, right? So, um, okay. So I am going to encourage you guys to flip that script of the have, do, be, and instead think, who do I need to be or become? And what are they doing to have those kind of results? So I want you to look at Amanda Ernest. I want you to look at Kat. I want you to look at Jessica. I want you to listen, you know, to the things that I'm saying, you know, that I did when I, when I, when I, um, uh, achieved these things and what did they do? What tools did they use? How do they show up? What, you know, methods are they using to achieve that? I guarantee you, they kind of started with one and, you know, kind of added on others or they're laser focusing in on, you know, one thing, whether it be classes or Instagram or, Facebook lives, or, you know, everybody's kind of got their own little thing and there's a million ways to do it. Tammy Williams, my partner in crime, who's also an elite influencer. She's amazing. And y'all, she didn't go live until she hit influencer. She does not have a strong social media following. She doesn't even know how to use Instagram. And she did it all like the old school way by like putting the makeup on faces and talking about this business with anybody. Like she signed up her banker. <laughs> Like she's that good. And it's just because she, again, is very confident in who she is. And I think that's a benefit to being in her fifties. Same thing with Laura. Y'all's a lot of y'all's um, grandma um, here in Saint, like, you know, she's, she's like comfortable. She's been through it all. And actually that's going to be a later B um, we'll, we'll get there in a minute, but the second B is become. So if you want to be like our executive directors <laughs> who are your uplines, um, what are they doing? to have those same results because you can have them too. So that brings me to my third B, you guys, which is believe, believe. If you watch Amanda's very first video on Hello Team For You, which I'm sure many of you guys have, you will see she talks about that, that the power of belief is everything. And I remember even when she recorded that video, even at the time, I was like, oh, sounds kind of fluffy. Like, I, you know, I want to know what I need to do. Like, I almost wanted to like skip past that, like, you know, fluffy mindset stuff. Well, you guys, I'm telling you, if you don't have that belief that this is possible for you, it's not going to happen. Because if you think you can, or you think you're, you can't, you're right. A hundred percent. And I was just actually chatting with Tammy um, this morning and we were talking about like that catalyst for her of um, when she decided to, or when, what opened her eyes to when this could be, you know, bigger. And it was sitting down with Sarah. We um, did a little girls getaway. Katie Martin, um, uh, Tammy and Sarah and I were there. I think 
Tammy had maybe like 12 women on her team at the time. I don't know, maybe some, something along those lines. Um, Katie had, I think recently joined like in the month or two prior, like it was very, you know, it was kind of early on in this. And Sarah asked Tammy like, Hey, what do you, what do you, you know, like, what would be your dream income here? And she was like, I mean, maybe like 30,000 and Sarah, y'all, she laughed, literally she laughed. (laughs) Tammy was so taken aback because it wasn't like, she was like, Oh, you, you know what? Like. I'm sure you, you know, you could even do more than that. Like it wasn't that she was like, Oh, Tammy, you have no idea. You have no idea what's possible. And you know, what's crazy in hindsight, looking back to that, which I think it was in December, y'all, it was almost exactly three years ago, almost like maybe even to the weekend, three years ago. And thinking back on that, I don't recall what Sarah's income was at that time. But, you know, she and Amanda were, you know, uh, uh, in the higher ranked, I think she had hit influencer baby at that point. But my, my point is, you know, she wasn't, they weren't making, these numbers that are reflected here weren't, <laughs> weren't what was necessarily happening in, um, in St. Land at the time or Mascara Land at the time. Um, but Sarah believed and knew that it would be that way. And it might take a while. It might take three or four years but she knew it was going to be that way. And so guess what? Because Sarah believed she poured that belief into Tammy, who then it like the, the fire of belief of just what's freaking possible, like just set a fire in her to go from just like, you know, kind of playing around with it and, you know, having, you know, just like a little bit of fun with it to laser focusing in on what it would take to get there. And she's doing it. And we were just talking about it today. We're like, let's, let's do, let's hit, let's do it next year. (laughs) We can do this. Let's do it together. So, um, believe is, is your, um, third B. And I promise you, if any, look at the, look at the women, look at Lori, look at Jessica, look at Tammy, look at Kat, look at Amanda, look at Sarah, all, everybody is so different. You guys, so different, different ages, different demographics, different places all over the country. The, and none of us, there's no one that started. Yes. Some might have had previous direct sales experience and they might've been further along on that runway of building their network or, you know, trust with their, their people for sure. Uh, Or maybe they've just been in mascara longer because that's the truth, but what they've done, you can do in that same time period, if not faster, if not faster. And you guys, I even have, I might be able to dig it up at least on here and show you guys. Um, I haven't even shared this, not with anybody, not even with Amanda or Sarah, but I have from probably that time, I think it was back in 2017 when I did this, um, I wrote down how many teenies Amanda had when she hit Elite Influencer. And let's see, I'm going to search Amanda. Let's see if it's, let's see if it's in there. Oh, come on, let me find it. Um, and I, if I recall, because it's kind of laser ingrained, it was about, um, it was about 2300 determined to find it at this point. (laughs) I don't see it. Okay. I don't know, but, um, it was, I think about 23, I think it was 2366 if I remember correctly, which guess what? I have almost 2300 at elite influencer. Now Tammy had a lot less when she hit it. So it's obviously possible. People are paving the way. Ryan Shedrick ranked to, um, every single month to get to influencer. And what was that like six months? It's pretty amazing. Um, so anything is possible rules and, you know, things can be broken, but it's not going to happen for you unless you believe that you can do it. And leaders, it's not going to happen for your girls unless you believe they can do it. And that's a big one. So for any of you habit finder fans, I know Jessica's a huge habit finder fan. It's amazing. And I think Paul's getting ready to start back up another one if anybody's interested, but, um, one of the big principles or one of the metrics that they track, if you take your habit finder store a score is how presumptive you are about people. And that was one that has been way off for me from the beginning, because I presume it's easy for me to presume that someone will or won't be successful. And you guys, you never know. Tammy Williams, the 50, I think she was like 51, maybe when she joined, um, 50 or 51, like of all the directs that I had at that time, never in a million years did I think she would make up 75% of my team. Sarah did though. Sarah believed, I mean, not that I didn't believe in Tammy, that sounds, <laughs> and Tammy, if you watch this later, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I believe in you, but what I'm saying is it's the power of that belief that Sarah poured on her that lit that fire and that flame. So if you are a leader, 
do that for your girls and watch what happens because you don't get to these ranks on your own friends. You get there by helping other people achieve their goals and dreams, which is why it's so important. And for those of you, and I know you're on here watching that have really strong personal sales or personal results, but you're not seeing results in your team. I'm going to ask you right now, are you pouring and instilling belief in your girls that they can do what you're doing? And this is a little bit of tough love. And I learned this from my mentor, Bob Heilig. Um, if it works for you, but it doesn't work for them, it doesn't work in this business. So that might mean like, I mean, this is, I don't know anybody that's doing this or having results in this, but say you're like, you know, spending $1,500 on like Google ads or something like that. Um, and you're, that's how you're getting like, I don't know, thousands in sales. Like that's obviously not duplicatable for a girl, you know, who's just trying to get, earn money to buy presents for her kids for Christmas. Right. Like that's not, that's not something that can be duplicated getting hostesses for classes, um, doing lives. I don't care where you live. I don't care what, I mean, y'all I'm well, actually it's actually kind of clean here, but y'all I'm a hot mess. Like my house is the disaster. <laughs> you can see it. It's like nine times out of 10 a hot mess. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have like the perfect lighting, the perfect setup. Apparently you don't even have to wear makeup, um, <laughs> to do well in this business. So I want you to think about that. Um, Okay, we got um, like seven more minutes and two more bees to, to do. So um, I wanna show you guys another little show and tell, which is this little guy here. Oops, whoa. Okay, so this, if you were on, okay. If you were on the power hour that I hosted on Team Freedom, you've already kind of seen this um, and I'll make sure to share the link. Let me see if I can make it bigger for y'all. Okay. Um, this is like a little tracker that I whipped up that really broke down exactly what I did to qualify. Oh my gosh. Today is Kate Twig's birthday. And I've literally been talking to her y'all happy birthday to Kate Twig. I am the worst friend ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's one of my best friends. Happy birthday, Kate. Okay. So, um, can y'all tell them spaz? You're probably like, look, Heather can hit elite influencer. I for sure can. <laughs> okay. So you guys, when I decided to go for Costa Rica, here's exactly what I did. Cause I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering like, okay, well, I get that, get the belief, like now tell us like what you did. So what I did is I started with a ginormous, like 80 something person list of names and it's messy, it's scribbly. It's just jotted in my planner. I've got it like going over here, like on all of these, um, uh, you know, this anyway, all of the things. And, um, it was, I think 80 something people. And do you know what I did? I sent messages to about 60 of them, 60 women now on this and the women, just so you know, at this, um, cause gosh, three or four years in, like this was my, um, my customer base. I just went down my list of customers and I did add some people in there who had expressed interest in becoming customers. Um, but I made a really, really big, big list. And um, what I did is I took um, each individual scenario completely differently because like my best friend was on this list. My sis, both my sister-in-laws are on here. Um, my mom was on here. Um, you know, some customers that I don't like, who is this person? And she's ordered like five times. I need to meet her. Um, so each individual scenario was different, but my goal, my end game goal was to get them to become a hostess. Cause I knew if I wanted to sell like $8,000 that I needed about 12 hostesses, um, to help me make that happen, that I could not generate that kind of volume on my own. So I needed the hostesses to share it. And so what I did is I like, like on this list, I made out and this, I think has like 30 names up here, um, on the, the thing that I'm showing you, um, this top, this like dream teamy, and I put dream teamy on here. This could be hostess, you know, it could be whatever it is. It's just your list. Right. Um, but this is, if you want to build your team, kind of where to start and write down like a bigger name that it's shaped in a funnel because you're going to start big and you're going to narrow down and you're going to get the end result. So this, for example, if you want to find two artists to join your team, this is going to be, and this was exactly the result that happened for me, you guys. So I started with that 60. Um, so, you know, you can break that in half to, to, uh, to, uh, whatever, you know, and then they're going to move into being color matches. Right. And again, most of these women had already been color matched. They were customers, but say these are dream teamies that have not even been invited to anything. You can invite them to your class, your group, a webinar, meet, you know, meet saint, um, anything like that. Um, you can even apply if you're a leader to a team, you can invite them to watch this, <laughs> you can watch this video or come to conference next year. So anyway, color match to then become a customer, to then become a hostess, to then become an artist. So for me, from those 60 conversations, I did wind up hosting 10 classes. 
um, from those 10 classes, I um, got the sales that I needed, which was awesome. Um, but I also got four artists um, out of that or wait, three or four, three, or, I think it was four three or four, whatever, three or four artists um, from that journey. And some were surprises. One was one of my um, uh, best customers of an artist that actually quit. And so she was one of those that I really hadn't connected with much. And so we connected and she was like, well, I'm actually thinking about the artist program. And, um, and I was like, oh my gosh, well, that would be amazing. Um, another was someone who did, um, she didn't actually, um, Christy, she's number number two right here on this list. She had expressed interest in hosting a class, but the time wasn't right. And out of nowhere, she decided to host, um, do a host a post, which that's basically, you can invite people to do this, but she did it on her, kind of on her, well, no, I invited people, I incentivized them to do it. I gave them a free um, single of their choice if they shared my picture before and after with a little bit about the makeup and connected me. And I, sh I said I would give um, a um, brush of their choice if they posted their own. So Christy did both. She posted my before and after, a beautiful before and after of herself, the palette, and put this incredible post on Instagram about how this makeup has changed your life. Guess what happened, y'all? People came out of the woodworks to be color match. They were like, what? I need this. And her husband looked at her and said, Christy, you should do this. Like what in the world? Like you just need to dive in and do this. And now a month later, not only is she elite and has made back her investment, but her daughter just decided to join her in this journey. And that is the coolest part about this. This, um, And actually that's going to be, oh, because this, did I say what this B was? Y'all probably like, Heather, give us the B. This B is break it down, break it down. So I'm showing you this funnel example for how you can break down your big goal into something smaller. So, you know, it usually starts with a list of names, whether you're trying to get a sales goal, um, get some hostesses. Um, I used to be that person that said, oh, it's really hard for me to find hostesses. Like I can't ever get anybody to commit. Guess how many conversations I was having? Like two or four. Like I was, you know, kind of just like, hey, what, what do you think about, you know, you know, and they maybe would say yes, you know, and I think I had done three classes the entire year prior to this. And um, it took having 60 conversations and they weren't all about hosting, but 60 conversations to get 10 hostesses. So it starts big. It's going to work your way down in the funnel and you've got to break it down. So break it down is your fourth B and your last B. And this is my favorite B. And this is really why I'm here. Um, and what I'm doing right now is you're going to build is the last B. And the way that you're going to build is simply by sharing, here, I'm going to stop the share so I can um, see you guys. Okay, you're simply by sharing what you did, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because all of the hard things that happen to you guys in business, artists quitting, um, $0 classes, um, re makeup returns, all the hard stuff and saying that you don't have any control over, um, oversold clutches, um, candlelit being out of stock, whatever, you know, whatever these like hard things, trust me, like they're going to come for you women of faith. Like that's in the word, like we are not promised like good things, you know, <laughs> good things all the time. Right. But what we are promised is that all these things will work for your good even if they're bad, even if they're hard. And I have experienced and now can look at these things count, and I count them truly as a joy when I have a failure or when I even make a mistake personally. Because guess what? I know that I'm going to have an artist or a customer or someone down the road that is going to have that exact same hurt or heartbreak. We all have those struggles. You know, if you're maybe divorced or you were an addict or you, um, you know, I mean, gosh, there's so many horrible things that, that, um, you know, are way worse than like an artist quitting or <laughs> returning your back office or something like that, obviously. But even those really hard and hurtful things in your life can allow you to connect with on a deeper level, the people all around you that you're meant to pour your light and your joy into. And so I want you to share this. I want you to share the good. The coolest part is if you're just starting and you're even overwhelmed by the idea of goal setting and like big goals. And you're like, wait, people make a million dollars here. Wait, what is even happening? I just wanted like $200 to make <laughs> for Christmas. What I'm telling you is, um, oh wait, I, I completely lost my train of thought actually. <laughs> but the point is 
all of this can be applied to any area of your life, you guys. This is not just for saint. This is for life. And the coolest part about this business model is two things. One, it's a personal development um, plan that we get paid to be a part of. So instead of you having to go to college and spend, I was talking to my mom about this, like, you know, surgeons don't like sometimes even make what we make here at Saint, which is insane. And they have to go to medical school and go deep into debt and spend, you know, months away from their family and all of these things. Guess what? We just get to go through some hard stuff, some brushes being out of stock and rebrands and weird rainbow colored palettes that we don't know how to use and like all kinds of stuff like that to get paid to learn and grow. And if you go back to those stats, you guys, if you stick with this thing, if you just last in this business, the growth, the average growth, let me see if I can get back to it. Um, the average growth, you guys, of um, the leaders that took this little survey, 659% over last year, 659%. What kind of job gives you a 659% raise? People like live for like a 5% raise, right? 400, you know, and even at these topper levels where it's really difficult to like double, these leaders are doubling. My income is way more than double from last year. It's insane. And that's possible for you too. You can double your income in this business. You absolutely can. Any of you can, but you have to believe that you can do it. You have to do, okay. So to summarize, <laughs> you have to begin with the end of mind. What do you want? It doesn't have to be make a million dollars. It doesn't, it can be hit artists too. It can be anything, but begin with the end in mind. Then I want you to um, become. So think, be, do, have, right? Like who do you need to be? Um, what are they doing or who you need to become? Um, maybe laser focus in on someone that you relate to, whether that's Camille or Kat or me or Tammy or Jessica or Lori or whoever you most relate to. And what are they doing? What are they doing to have the results that they're having? So be believe that um, <laughs> is the next one. Uh, believe, believe that you can do it and believe and pour that belief on your girls. Um, then break it down is the fourth one. And then finally build. And the way that you do that is just by sharing. Oh, that's what I was going to say earlier is even if it's just this makeup, y'all, that's how you build is you share the good, the bad, and the ugly with the makeup you share. Oh my gosh. The first, like y'all, I have it before and after where I use moonlit, literally, moon, which I actually do look really fair in this, but I'm not, I'm like Amber candlelit June. Um, but I have it before and after where I'm moonlit and ash and pink grapefruit and pearl and I will drop it in the comments so you guys can see how horrific it is and funny story it was a, like a year before the artist program dropped it was when I got that um because I was like oh I'm fair skinned so that's a funny story I can share with my customers now um so even if you don't aren't looking down the road for team stuff and you're just here to share the makeup which we love that and most of that most of you here are that way um this can apply to that as well. So, okay, you guys, thank you for spending this time with me. Sorry for the tech difficulties there. Um, but I, um, I'm so thrilled for all of you. I'm so thankful to Jessica for letting me hop on and share this with you guys today. And I hope that y'all have an amazing day, an amazing holiday and get to goal setting ladies. Yay.